What is up, YouTube Tool Tubers of the World? My name is Brad. Welcome to the workbench, and we're going to mix it up a little bit today and look at some deals from Woodcraft for the month of July. If you've never been to a Woodcraft, I suggest you look around and see if there's one near a city near you and go check it out. Even if you don't have anything specific to buy, they have a lot of larger machineries you can't buy, like higher end stuff that you can't find at Home Depot and stuff like that, and a lot of specialized stuff towards the woodworking genre of course but i saw the july sales flyer and i saw there was some pretty good deals in it so as you can see they're already rolling by these aren't coupons these are just sales going on in store so if you see something you like take a screenshot of the item and model number and you should be able to find that deal in a store near you now i will fully admit i do not have as much experience with a lot of these tools as i do the harbor freight videos that i film as well so i'm going to rely on people watching this video to comment if you've got experience with some of these deals on these tools here let people know good bad in between get the job done type of tool let people know a big for instance is i wanted to recommend these f clamps that they have on so they have them in a couple different sizes and they have a pretty good price on them they look well made or at least better made than the harbor freight ones which are a very similar price to a lot of these but i noticed that they don't have any kind of locking mechanism on that rear sliding part which may not even be a big deal because i have plenty of welding clamps that use the same idea that it kind of locks it down once you start applying pressure i just don't know i don't have personal experience with these clamps so i definitely just wanted to put that out there if you do leave a comment down below let people know how you like them i do like the deal on this mobile base here coming in even lower than the amazon price which is pretty hard for a store to do and then we also got some ebony on sale this is one and a half by one and a half by 24 for ten dollars so if you do any turning i think that's a great deal right now they also have many other wood species on sale right now so you'll have to check out their website i don't have time to show you every single one because i got to get to the deals i think were the best like these forstner bits i don't think i could ever suggest their quality at 130 dollars but for the sale price of 70 dollars they are definitely worth taking a look at in my opinion we do have quite a few items from Grip, aka Gripon, aka Grand Rapids Industrial Product. A lot of mechanics know these products. They're cheaper Chinese products, but some of them I've had my experience with are not too bad, especially for the price you're paying. I like this light for 20 bucks. Any magnetic base LED light on Amazon is going to be at this price or higher that I've seen. I like the look of this little shop stool. It's nice to be able to sit down if you're doing some detailed work. And saving $45 off the regular price ain't too shabby. You got the Rycon Deluxe 10-inch bandsaw. This has all the bells and whistles. A great hobby bandsaw. Something you can put on the bench top. Won't take up a lot of room. I kept an eye on this bandsaw for a long time, even on Amazon. And I never saw it at this kind of price. So if you're interested, this might be the lowest price you'll probably ever see it at. If you're building a workbench, this birch top might not be a bad deal to take advantage of. And there's a lot of these negative rake scrapers on sale. And a lot of them do say C price in cart, which means you have to add it to your cart before they'll show you the sale price. I can tell you right now, on average for the negative rake scrapers in this video, it's about two to three dollars off the normal price they're showing. And this white side kit was around $47. I thought this was a good deal, this nine inch quick release vise. I really thought at $99, $80 off, that looked like a really good deal. But you can find that vise in a Yoast brand for $98 all day long. So it's not a bad deal, but it's not something I'd rush to the store to take advantage of. And same kind of goes for these butt chisels. I like the butt chisel handle. <laughs> I know I'll get some hell for that. But you can find the Narex set for close to that same price all day long on Amazon as well. And another F clamp, this is an eight inch long one on sale. I think it's a pretty good price. You got the four inch double square on sale for $37. Now, unless Pinnacle makes these super premium squares that I'm unaware of, I haven't heard of it, I'd suggest going with the eye gauging set I have here. I have these set, I've reviewed this set. So go ahead and take a look. Same thing with this 12 inch combination square. I think there's better deals out there. If you've got experience with that brand or that square in particular, please leave a comment down below. Let me know if I'm way off base, cause I might be. I can only give you the experience with the tools I've used and the brands I have. So if you've used some of these tools and you've had good experience or bad experiences with them, let people know. Don't let people go wasting their money on something that you already know might be bad. Or if you disagree with me, there's no problem with that. There's no need to be ugly in the comments section. Just say, hey, 
I disagree. I, I've bought this tool. I thought it was great. I'll probably agree with you. And I'm thankful for people that do that because I'm definitely not right about everything. Like this pen tube insertion tool. I turn definitely, but I don't ever turn pens. So I'm relying on my pen turners out there. To let people know if that's worth buying or not. And this kind of seemed odd to me, but they have a bunch of knives on sale right now, like 50% off. And these aren't kits that you can add something wood to. These are just fully made knives. I don't know if they're premium knives. I didn't know maybe Woodcraft caters to chefs as well. I I'm not sure, but other than those two I showed, there's a ton of different Japanese style Damascus and everything else knives on sale right now. Now here's something I definitely like to try. It's about $200 off right now, which is still a pretty penny. But this little shark CNC looks very rigid, much more rigid than the Shapoko or X carve you see all over YouTube. And again, Rikon coming with a wall mount dust collector for around $50 off, I think looks like a pretty good deal. And next, for some odd reason, my video just decided to freeze up there. It's just two things of carbide, and I'm going to roll through a bunch of pens. There is a ton of pen kits on sale right now as well. You're going to have to go to the website to see them all, because there's no way I have time to show you every single one. But at the end of this video, I do show you the sections I go to to show you the deals that I considered were the best in this video. But next, we're going to move on to clearance items that first section was deals that are good until the 31st of july these i think are just kind of good until the store sells out of them so you're gonna have to check your local stores and again they have other wood sales than just the ones i'm showing you but this sapile turner's pack i thought was a really good deal sapile is a beautiful wood and it's over 50 percent off right there on that deal and you can save you a few bucks on this little pen case if you're one of those pen turners out there some lead wood for over 50% off and a really awesome knife kit coming up right there. Damascus, yes, it's $100, but you put a handle on that, should go buy some of that lead wood, put a handle on that, and you will have a beautiful knife. 50% off a beginner leather working starter kit. I don't know anything about leather working, but I guess that's how you get started. And I think this is a great deal on this slipstone. 68% off right now. This is great for sharpening those odd shaped objects, especially like carving chisels that I know of. Another Damascus steel knife, 101 layer. It's pricey, but it would be awesome once you got a handle on it. Here's a little bit cheaper knife kit if you're looking to get started in that. $30, I think that's a pretty cool looking knife. And a pool saw, only $10 off of this one. Don't have any experience with this brand of pool saw, but if you've never tried a pool saw, they're definitely worth looking at or trying to see if that fits you better than a Western style saw. Another slipstone, which is the same 68% off and some yellow pine. Now this stuff is way better than you'll find in Home Depot or Lowe's. And honestly, pine can be a very beautiful wood if done right. Here's a small workbench. If you're just getting started and you got a little cash, you get two vices out of it and your workbench is already built. It'll save you a lot of time getting started. Some black palm on sale, nearly 50% off, but pay attention to the dimensions because what they're selling isn't what's in the picture. This is a thinner quarter inch by three inch by 24 inch long piece that they're selling for $15. Still has a use, just not what they're showing in the picture. And then we also have some cuts all files on sale. I always call them a rasp, but these are tungsten carbide coated and they eat through wood fast. I show them in my carving video and I use them all the time in my shop. If you can't afford an expensive cabinet rasp, this is the way to go, and especially with them on clearance right now. Now, just like the sales part, there's also a lot of pens, marker, and stylus kits on clearance right now. I can't show them all to you. So if you're curious of how I found all this stuff, go to the Woodcraft site as shown here. And in the top left, you'll see those three little dashes. You'll click that and see a drop down menu with a bunch of different options. You'll just scroll on down until you find specials. Once you click that, it'll open up to a bunch of different options. What I showed you was some of the shop sale items and shop clearance items. There's still so much more you can go look at and I encourage you to do so because like I said, I only showed you the deals I thought were best. You can even go down and look at it in the catalog form. It's just my way to try to help save y'all a little bit of money, just like I do with my Harbor Freight videos every month. So I encourage y'all check those out if this is the first time you're visiting my channel. Until next time, hit that like button, hit that subscribe button right there, and we'll holler at you next time. Peace!